A former student took the stand today describing daily sexual abuse in the Rosarian Academy classroom. News Channel 5's Brian Nenton is live at the Palm Beach County Courthouse where testimony is just wrapping up. Brian. Kelly, the young woman was strong and clear as she spoke on the stand for hours about the sexual abuse she says she suffered at the hands of her fourth grade teacher. Abuse she says she kept a secret for years because she says she was ashamed and embarrassed. Turning 18 just a few days ago, just feet from the man she says molested her, this young woman talks about the first time she says the abuse started in just fourth grade. He asked me if I liked it. And the first thing I did was I got up and I went to the bathroom. And I was really upset because I knew that what had just happened wasn't okay. My mom had taught me the difference between good touch and bad touch. The alleged victim says the abuse to her and her best friend in the Rosarian fourth grade classroom started happening almost every day. The next memory I have, um, at this point we were under the desk. And I remember that he unzippered his pants. He never fully took off his pants or pulled them down. He just unzippered his pants. The accuser says Bud told them if they told their parents, they would be the ones going to jail. But the defense argues it is all made up and questions why the girls didn't come forward so long ago. Never telling an adult, never telling their parents, and never making these accusations to any adult until six years later. A big part of this case is a recorded phone call West Palm Beach police set up between the accusers and Bud where they tried to get a confession out of him. More on that coming up at 6 and why the criminal defense attorney says the recorded phone call was not fair. Live at the courthouse, Brian Anton, WPTV News Channel 5.